Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Mythgard in Middle-earth. My name is Corey Olson, the Tolkien Professor, joined as always by my friend Grifflet, who is not, in fact, in Gondor. He is taking a field trip today. Uh, he is indeed in Rivendell. Yeah, that's, that's where we are. There's Roheran right over there. Um, I like to think that, uh, you know, uh, part of Roheran is always in his comfortable stall in Rivendell, the special stall of the king over there. Um, okay, so let me explain why I'm in Rivendell and what's going on. And that is, as I think those of you who are here in the chat have already been discussing, um, I am going to get a tutorial today because as uh, Lotro players know, they made massive changes to the legendary item system and I have absolutely no idea. I'm, I'm uh, still in a state of general confusion about that. Um, I also support, suppose that even though I'm in Rivendell and so therefore in a certain degree of peril uh, from myself as far as the bridges are concerned, I should probably mount up anyway. So I am making my way to the last homely house where I shall be met uh, by my guide and instructor, uh, uh, whom I, I think I'll probably know when I see uh, there in uh, the last homely house. I am uh, very glad and thankful. I was gonna say like to welcome as my guest on the stream, which is true enough, I suppose. Uh, but really it's not a guest thing so much as privileged to be in a, hang on, I gotta concentrate. I'm gonna miss the bridge. Okay, phew, all right. I almost didn't quite Rivendell that bridge. Uh, uh, but Druid's Fire is with me today. Druid's Fire, thank you for your assistance today. I have notes, sir. Fantastic. I am so glad. All right, and there we go. Star Phoenix, I was guessing. Uh, would be, Okay, so this is your... What is she? Oh, captain, okay. All right. She is indeed a captain. There we go. Okay, all right. So, what do we do? Well, first of all, um, allies 3.0 thematically represent the notion of allies in the lore. Uh, a single weapon that once you acquire it, you keep the same weapon and you don't constantly swap it out. Uh, there right. is an article that uh, Standing Stone has published about them, and I'm going to throw it in chat for folks. Okay, cool. So it is, so the, the I, I, I mean, I will certainly agree that that seems so much more lore friendly, right? I mean, like, if you found a legendary weapon from, like, the first or second ages, you would absolutely keep it you know you wouldn't be like well i i've grown out of this you know uh you know tired old thing right like so yeah no i i, I think that's uh that is a big lore upgrade uh to the system all right and there's two ways to onboard into the new ally system one is you're going to go through content in moria the same as you used to do and right. it's going to naturally flow with the new stuff but if you like a majority of our player base you have been there done that Here's where you go. You come to Rivendell, you go up the left-handed stairs, you come to Gobeth uh, Tython, the Archive of Traceries, where all the goodness happens. Okay. Uh, and um, I, I will go through the steps here. One thing to please note, the system is not yet complete. They're still adding things, uh, adjusting things, making things better. Um, there currently is no in-game hand-holding tutorial for okay. how to do this, whether you're an older player or just coming to your first allies. But they do intend to add one soon. Uh, they said maybe early next year at the latest. Uh, and also, uh, Warsteed Bridles are not included in the system yet. Uh, but that will be dealt with at some point in somewhat, hopefully, the near future. Okay. I'm going to go on in. So this is right. right above the Hall of Fire, directly Right above, above the it. Hall of Fire. That's it. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And we've got uh, some nice banners. All right. Okay. <laughs> Good. Here we are. Okay. Um, one other note is you will not be able to mix and match old allies and new ones. You can still equip all of your, both of your old allies, but they're frozen and you will not be able to advance them or make them any better. So you will, as you level up, you know, soon outgrow your current old system allies. Okay. So now when you say level up, 
we mean because uh, there's like so you don't you what you mean is like right now for instance my uh little dagger here is mm -hmm. at 60 out of 60 it's max that's the level you mean so like if my dagger were only at like you know 12 out of 60 it would be stuck there is that what you mean exactly right that is exactly okay. right Basically, this uh, window you see here is in a read-only uh, window. There's only one thing you can do on it. Don't click the button just yet. <clears throat> okay, wait. Don't click um, which button. Uh, which there's button? a button in the lower right-hand corner called Appraise Item. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Um, yep. uh, oh, right. Appraise Item. Got it. Yes, yep. I see. Um, and one thing I will caution to folks uh, you know, watching this later is um, this system will want you to take a little bit of time and plan out what you're going to do because um if you just jump in and just click 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 on things you could get yourself into a world of pain right yeah you can end up with like a really inadequate legendary weapon that you're stuck with mm -hmm. forever and have to mm -hmm. go back to moria or something yeah not back to moria but would it, you have it to craft something but you couldn't craft um, something because you can't advance it then you'd be at level one yeah, yeah the old allies basically you're you're going to appraise them and basically get goodies from them but you're not deconstructing them you can later right. want them. not deconstructing um, them now yep okay one other one other note about the system in general is previously players felt that they had to max out their old allies um you know go go the whole nine yards especially with the imbuement uh, of the uh, most recent iteration mm -hmm. um and they could do that without necessarily going through all the raids and all all that other happiness these days, that's no longer the case. Uh, Standing Stone has said the intention is, if you're doing mostly landscape, don't worry about the upper tiers of what this system can do for you. Um, just get the stuff you get from landscape, use it on your LI, and you'll be fine. Okay. If if you want them in max, there are folks you could talk to that can help you with that. <laughs> right, right. It's, yeah. it's always possible to do more min maxing, I'm sure. But uh, mm -hmm. okay, right, great. But I'm I'm not too worried because mm -hmm. I have. So I actually don't like. I was uh, Grifflet has not like found a li drop in a while anyway. So I actually only have on me my uh, li's. So I have my, you know, my two equipped LIs and of course my bridal, which is not relevant just now. And um, I have, uh, and they're maxed level. But of course, like the level where they're not maxed is that they're both minimum level 85 items. But this is, I understand is the thing that's gonna be like fixed basically, right? That's the thing that's no longer relevant. Exactly. Okay, nice. All right. Now, one thing uh, about the appraisal process um, okay. is you can do this at any place. You don't have to be in Rivendell to do it. Um, um, one thing about it uh, is the more you invested before the change happened where those old allies are frozen, the more you're going to get out of it. As you said, you only have the one each, so you're not going to get as much as somebody who filled in slots four, five, six, seven, whatever. Right, right, right. right. You can only appraise your old allies once. And um, the rewards are going to be based on your character's level. And Standing Stone has created a level, they're called level bands. Mm -hmm. Not like, you know, metal bands, but level bands. They're different. Um, right, yes. Yeah. Got it. So you're actually on the cusp of one of the bands. And this may actually be a good idea to just go through the process and look at it, figure out what you're going to do, but wait until Grifflet hits 101. The reason 101. is. Okay. Yes, and the reason is the level bands run from 50 to 85, 86 to 100, 101 to 105, 106 to 115, 116 to 120, 121 to 130, and now 131 to, to Gundabad stuff. Okay. However, for appraisal, it doesn't matter if you're 130 onward, it doesn't, you're not going to get anything better. Um, they have deliberately not added Gundabad stuff for the appraisal process. So if you're okay. 130, appraise away, don't don't wait till you're 131. Okay. Okay. Um, but as you say, so my, so it, you said 101 to 105. So if I wait till I'm level 101, mm -hmm. then I will get put into, my stuff will get put into the 101 to 105 band. Does that mean I have to like get new ones when I get up to like level, you know, 110 or whatever? Um, what will happen is if you appraise now, you'll get stuff based on level 86 to 100. Right. Oh, so, it's, so it's just it's just all about what I like 
am cashing mm-hmm. it in for essentially. Right. So when you're cashing okay. in via appraising, you want to take take an eye, you know, keep an eye on how long is this stuff going to be useful for you? Because as you progress beyond 100 into 101, you're doing Gondor content. So you yeah. don't want an LI that's set for Rohan content. So right. to answer Phil's question, why couldn't they make the bands uniform sizes? It's basically based on content. So Aha. the 50 to 85 is, you know, Moria to Rohan. 86 to 100 is Gondor. Well, central or Gondor. 80, 80, wait, 86 to 100 is... Is central Gondor? Gondor. Is central yeah, Central Gondor. Okay. Well, it's it's like Endgame. Rohan and... Right, yeah. It's right, like yeah. the sec, like the West M net, and yeah, then yeah. early Gondor. And then you've got main Gondor once you get to Minas Tirith, and then you've got your Mordor, then you've got your northern Mirkwood and Iron Hills, then you've got right. your Bales of Anduin and Elder Slate. Right. It is and a little hard to remember, like, in retrospect. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think a lot of people are used to the round numbers, and that's kind of where they're getting themselves tripped up. So always yeah. wait till you're on like the the six or the one level when you're going to do something like this. No, okay. 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 All right. So um, once you appraise your old allies, or if you have any unslotted old allies, you can throw them away. Once you've appraised them, you don't need them anymore. You can toss them. You okay. might want to keep them for cosmetic appearances or for sentimental values. Like, oh my god, I spent years of my life fixing this, so I'm not throwing it away kind of deal. Right. right. But they will take up bag right. space, so. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, but, yeah. but in Grifflet's case, of course, I, as it happens, I, I didn't happen to have any unslotted allies mm-hmm, mm-hmm. when this time came around. So I don't have to worry about that. So it's just when the time comes, right. but I'm probably going to wait till I get to 101, I will appraise uh, the, oh, the, right. both of these two. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, and when you appraise it, um, oh, okay. Uh, any old LI mats that you have right now, things like crystals of remembrance. Well, actually, you could do something with those. Um, uh, those old XP runes and whatnot. Those I- IXP runes. You're gonna want to save them because they're coming up with what's called a legendary rewards track that's going to help people be able to get more materials to help keep their LIs going as they progress through the game. Aha. Um, so but, those will be useful again someday. Yes. So they will be. So for right now, continue to be Horde of the Rings. Um, okay. I, I never need <laughs> to be told that. twice. <laughs> yeah. So Catriona asks, are old unslotted allies useless now? Yes, they're useless. You can just toss them. You're not going to be able to convert them into anything. You can't appraise them for a script or anything. So it's just like, yeah. So unless okay. you want them for cosmetic reasons, you could just toss all of those things and clean up so much bag space. Okay, so when you appraise your items, you're going to get a couple of different uh, new currencies. The big one is called Ancient Script. Now, Ancient Script is account wide, um, which in you know for functional purposes, server wide. Um, hey, so, so uh, hang on. Can I ask a question first? Just briefly. Um, so if I, um, since I don't have any uh, uh, any allies except for my primary ones, which I want to wait on, should mm-hmm. I uh, switch over to Wigand, who has several, so that I, because I'm not going to be able to go through the appraising process here, right? Because I need to wait till I'm 102 or 101. Yeah, what, what level is Wigand again? Uh, 114, 113. Okay. He, so... But he's like just south of one of the, ones is two isn't he mm-hmm. yeah he is kind of yeah so it'd be to 116 yeah he's he's doing a red quest if we get actually get him out of mordor um yeah. so he'll he'll probably want the the newer stuff right you can okay. do what phil says here here's what if you want to demonstrate if you okay. let's click on your bridle just to make sure oh okay right that's, that'll be safe okay yeah so so i can hit a praise and then we can so hit we can a praise it. and just cancel just make sure you cancel right. after I, you I take just a look at i won't it. claim it Okay. Exactly. Right. So okay. these are the things you're going to get. All right. Excellent. Now you can explain okay. and I can see it and that'll be much easier yeah, for me. It, okay. Go ahead. So, and it'll be better for the stream. Okay. So what you're going to get is ancient script is your primary currency. This mm-hmm. is going to be rare to achieve outside of the appraisal process. So you want to be very careful with how you spend it. Okay. Okay. You also get a couple of enhancement runes. Uh, you got some purples, which are rare, and you got some scions, which are... Uh, Incomparable, and then you also incomparable, got incomparable. Really? Incomparable. Yeah, that's what the science nice. are. Oh, yeah, that's nice. always been. 
they, they use the same pattern of a rarity. So you've got yellow is uncommon, purple is rare, cyan uh, in is incomparable, uh, infrequently and incorrectly referred to as teals. And then you've got gold and legendary. Um, okay. And the higher of the rarity, the longer they'll last you and the better they are. Ah. Uh-huh. Um, one thing about ancient script, though, is it shows up in your barter wallet. And it has a cap of 10,000. The only time you can exceed that cap is during this appraisal process. So, okay. for example, if you're if you're at the cap or over the cap because of appraisal, and you're doing some quests that get you some uh, of this ancient script, you're out of luck. You're not going to get it. Uh, okay. The the same is also true if you decide to transfer a server. Uh, this is for folks not like you who play multiple servers and do this. Is if you transfer a character in from another server that has more. Uh, currents more ancient script than you have room for, you lose it. It's the same with embers. It's the same with a lot of the capped shared items. You can't exceed your cap. Um, and 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 that's a cap per character. Per server. Per server. So, so my, like all yeah. of my characters on the server. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, oh, really? if this is a shared uh, thing. So if you look at oh. your barter wallet at the time, if you get some, it'll be in green. Which means it is something you could transfer to another server if you ever wanted to. That's what the green oh. means in oh. the barter wallet. Is right. That's something that will transfer if you send your character or your shared storage to another server, that stuff will go with you. Anything that's white stays on this home server. Oh, right. So like the moats and the figments are, 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 mm-hmm. are there too. Yeah, right. Yep. And it, it okay. operates the same way as those moats and figments is you can't exceed those caps by server transfers. Believe right. me, people would try. Uh huh. Right. I, I have no idea who would do such a thing. <clears throat> right. I see. And they're capped at ten thousand. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I see. I didn't even understand about the green. Uh, oh yeah. Which was good. It seems to me a little random. Which of these things are green? But that's fine. I. I'm not. <laughs> There's always I'm, a I'm, reason I'm to the madness for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So aside from the ancient script, which is going to be your basic bar- barter currency, right? Right. The other things are goodies that will make things better for you. So you okay. see those two different kinds of enhancement runes. Those will be things that will improve the slots on your LI when you get them. And that's okay. going to be harder for you to see because you won't be able to well, buy oh, yeah, I, well, I won't actually, be Actually, you it. could. Yeah. You could actually buy your LI. And we, can, we can show you at least the slots on them. And you can level up the LI. But, okay. Um, because that doesn't care what level you are. You can always reforge it again and again on the same li and have it be close to what your level is okay so i will be reforging so reforging is a thing that will continue to happen yes reforging will increase the eye level of your li to to get close to your eye level to your personal level okay so for example everybody who's going into gundabad right now and hitting 131 should reforge their allies because it'll increase the upper end of what those allies can do so the allies don't gain like their ally XP anymore and then need to be reforged when they hit level? No. Nope. They're just synced to your level. Well, they, they don't stay synced to your level. They it's don't stay like, synced. You'll, you'll probably want to re, uh, reforge them every five levels, roughly. Okay. Will I get a notification like I did before? No, like, not that I'm hey, aware of. No, actually no? you won't because when I dinged 131 on my main over on uh, here on Landy the other day, I didn't get any notifications. It's just something you have to keep it in the back of your mind. It's like, oh, every five levels, reforge. Okay. All right. Good to, yeah, good so to know. No annoying messages every 10 minutes. No months. annoying messages, which is good in its way, right? Although, like, I'm liable to forget about it for 10 levels at a time, but it's fine. Yeah, uh, I, we, I forget I can, to look at my quest items and my... Yeah. You know, that's it. Well, look, you know, <laughs> I can't be bothered with every little thing. So, okay, yeah, right. That's True, good. True. That's good. Okay. That's good. Now, ancient okay. script is deliberately yep. going to be hard to acquire outside of the appraisal process. Um, they are, it's still a work in progress. They haven't really fine-tuned how much you're supposed to get. Um, so they're probably going to be adding or fixing additional things with that. Now, the other things that you can get are called traceries. Those are two enhancement runes are also called traceries. I don't know why they're, they're not. Um, okay. The, the fourth thing in your list is a Shattered Rohirrim tracery. 
And right. this is one of the keys. And you notice the levels on the enhancement runes. The Shattered Rohirrim trace rate matches that level band. So this is okay. why you want to wait until... Right, so I can see they're at level 86 still... right mm -hmm. now. So, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. What the Shattered Rohirrim trace rate is, what the Shattered uh, trace rates are for, are for getting you incomparable traceries to add to your LI. So those are things that are normally going to drop from instances uh, or high, you know, group content. They're not really intended to just be thrown out to willy nilly outside the the, uh, the, the process here. Okay. Uh, so tracers are like legacies from the old system with a little extra gravy on top. Uh, they okay. do have, if you hover over it with your cursor, you'll see a minimum and maximum level on it, on all of those actually. Uh... For the uh, no, shattered tracer, it yeah. lies to me. No, it doesn't. Go, go to one of the enhancement rooms, please. Uh, okay. Yes. It says uh, minimum level eighty six, mm -hmm. enhancement limit one seventy five. That's the eye level, the item level. If you remember seeing, yeah, the item level is not the same as your character level. Never has been. Well, right, right. Yeah. So the traceries and these enhancement runes come in the same pattern of yellow purple, cyan, gold, you know, in the same pattern. Right. And the, the better they are, you're going to notice that enhancement limit will be increased. Okay. All right. Enhancement right. runes yeah. are used okay. to upgrade right. the slots in your LI, not the tracery. So you will, as time and, progresses... I'm sorry. And by slots, hang on. I just wanted to make, make sure I'm understanding vocabulary. Mm -hmm. So by slots, you mean like the uh, um, uh, what, like like legacy slots? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Okay. Um, oh, we can't have you actually claim this because you'll get ancient script. But you, oh, this is <laughs> it is a lot of info. Hi, Maven. <laughs> um, okay. So, enhancement right. runes. You will have slots on your LI, and right. you will get more slots over time. Uh, really? Be a couple, yes, you'll get more it'll, slots. It'll increase? Yes, it will. That's fun. Just just like they do in the current system where you reforge, you get a new slot. You reforge, you get a new slot. Oh, I it's, see. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. it's the and same And then it maxes out eventually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, one of the cool things is all of your script traceries and enhancement runes are all bind to account. So it, let's say you got uh, Grifflet all kitted out. Uh, and you had another alt in the same level band, or you outgrew some of that stuff, and you had some stuff left behind, right. you can then give it to an alt. With it's actually kind of a good way to. Oh, so you help. can do hand me downs you know, among exactly. your characters. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, I've done a lot of it. Yeah. Cool. So this is how you upgrade it instead of trashing your li and creating a new one. Is you just upgrade the existing li over and over and over again. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you're and new so, allies. So the enhancement runes grant you. So legacies are done. There's no more legacies. That's Correct. not a thing anymore. You okay. Will, we'll, we'll get to the traceries. You can kind of see the guardian traceries, brawler traceries on the wall, those shelves. But uh. you will purchase traceries for your ally that will match more or less your play style. Your you know which which of the three or two. I can your brawler. shop for the traceries i want instead of yes. just taking the legacies they give yes. me yes that's phenomenal yes. this is like yeah. the best thing ever so i don't have to get stuck with half legacies for like a a, a, yes. a, a a line i never use anymore exactly okay yeah and that's okay. like one of the best things ever is that you can pick what you want based on how you play your character what skills you use the most what like passive things you use the most um it really is a heck of a lot more flexible than you know, because uh, one of the things about the the old LI system is, if you wanted to replace a legacy, it was such a pain to level up a new legacy. Right. This time, it's not really that bad. Um, so yeah, you can take a look at the traceries. Um, especially, it's helpful to use like another class so you don't accidentally buy something. Oh, you don't right. have any currency okay. anyway. I don't have any currency anyway. So yeah. yeah. So I, I, I so, won't look at the burglar ones then. <laughs> well, it's fine. Because you, you, you don't have anything to buy them with anyway. Oh, right. Besides, you don't have an LI to guardians. put them on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so safe in every way. Yeah. You're, you're like totally safe. As long as you don't click that claim button. If you're done with that window, done looking at those uh, things, you want to click cancel. All right. Okay. So let's Just be on the safe that. side. And you can still reappraise that item later because, you know, it feels whatever. Okay. So. 
your new ally is a shell. You don't have to worry about first age, second age, third age. Those don't exist anymore. They're gone. Okay. Um, your first legendary is legendary. Doesn't matter like mm -hmm. more legendary or less legendary. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're mainly what makes them more legendary is what traceries, what tier of tracery you're putting in it, whether it's a uncommon, rare, incomparable, or right. legendary. Right. Okay. Again. So gold first, is above the blue. Gold the is the gold is the top. Yes. So it goes okay. yellow, yellow, purple, bottom. Right, yellow, purple, cyan, cyan gold. Yeah. yeah. Right on. Okay. Okay. Again, your first LIs, if you're brand new to getting one uh, in, you know, your level 45-ish, you're going to do your Moria stuff. That's Just do you Moria, you'll get it like normal. Yep. Yeah. So when you purchase it, you're going to go talk to this nice lady over here by the table. Hmm. Huh. The nice yep, lady. Come over here to this nice, this nice lady. All right. Huh. And you're going to select uh, the first option, barter. Barter items. And these are the, yes, barter items. Uh huh. Okay. And you're going to see the legendaries. And these are the only legendaries that are, um, <clears throat> yes. Okay, right. So, or as you see, there's no first age, second age, third age. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, technically, they're all legendary. If you, they're gold, they're all legendary. Right. So, like, here's the burglar's dagger I would buy. Mm hmm. And I see now, it's you, got, it's got, what, what is it? It's got, uh, so it has three it, slots. Right. Right. Level 45 starts out with three slots. Um, okay. And ah, you notice. So those so, are good. That, that's the thing that's going to grow over time. That'll yes. become the legacies. Right. It's so the, you're not going to see like equivalents. A, exactly. Yeah. So this is just a shell. This, this is, this is the plate that you're going to yeah. put your food on. Got it. And, and it's, and hang on. Those are. Those are. That's not what a tracery is. That's not what a tracery is. No, these are just the actual weapons. What was it? enhancements? Still. Was that the, the the the? I'm trying to. I'm trying to like, get the nomenclature. So it's, okay. the in, the things that you put in the slot are the enhancements. Tracery. Tracery. You Those are tracery. Tracery is equivalent to the okay. old legacies. Right. The tracery is the equivalent to the legacy. So it's the traceries mm -hmm. that you put in the slots. So it's the traceries right. that we buy on the, on that we get off the bookshelves. And that we turn okay. in the ancient script for. Mm-hmm. Right on. Okay. Got okay. It. So, and if you notice, your class has several different options for your weapon. Yep. Same as they always did. Is the, is the mm -hmm. difference mostly cosmetic? Not really. There are a couple of different uh, features based on, you know, one will lower an opponent's armor value. One will increase uh -huh. your parry chance. Um, right, you definitely right, right. want to pick based, and a lot of folks will just pick based on whatever they get a racial boost off of. So, for example, um, my champion would go with a sword because she's a high elf and high elves get a bonus to swords. Okay. 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 All right. All right. That's fine. Um, okay. So I'll be getting... So I'm uh, JJ to... asks, are lore masters the only ones who don't have a selection? No, they do. I'm looking at a lore master staff of legends. Squinched in between the Hunter Sword of Legend and the Minstrel Club of Legend. So yeah, Maven, hobbits will get club bennies. <laughs> I see what you did there. And, so... Uh, so... Oh. Um... Okay. So I, I think know. a lot of folks will just pick up whatever they're going to get that little bit of racial bonus for. So hobbits and clubs right. are good. Okay. I called mine shillelagh on my hobbit. Sure. Makes sense. All right. That, right. So the, the lore master is easy to miss because there's only the one entry for lore masters. They just mm -hmm. get staff. That, that's they, it. they just have staff. Right. That's it. And yeah. ro runekeepers, actually, they did add in additional runekeeper allies to to match, you know, the uh, multiple marine keeper options, with, uh, you know, right, fire. This, right, stone, uh, fire, lightning. stone, mm -hmm. lightning stone. Yeah, right on. Okay. Lightning okay. marine keepers are pretty amazing. Yeah. Anyway, uh, this LI vendor, um, it's, you're going to eventually buy, as you notice, the price is 200 ancient scripts, so they're not intended to be expensive. Right. Right. And I, I was getting like 3,300 out of my bridle there that I was looking at. Mm -hmm. So 
obviously yeah. I'm going to be getting it. And so if I were to do so, like if I were to, no, I'm not going to do it, of course, because I wouldn't given my level ban. But were I to cash in to appraise and claim all three of my uh, all three of my things, it, it sounds like I'd be pretty close to the 10,000 limit for for the three. Very possible. Yeah. I mean, the intention has always been that when you have, unless you're like at the bleeding edge of min maxing, what you get out of the system will be better or at the very least the exact same in terms of yeah. how much you're doing right. uh, that you have right now. Most right. folks that I have seen have reported just the base, um, the base ally damage uh, thing. Cause they basically baked most of your allies damage into the basic ally into the shell itself right right okay yeah. got it as an ex as an example um my um well i haven't actually appraised yet on my characters uh at, at level cap um went from an ally that had like 2000 you know uh deeps per second whatever damage per second to something that was like 4000 okay it really yeah, and again, unless you're at bleeding edge before, you're going to notice a substantial increase right. of performance. Great. So, could you explain the shattered tracery again? Because if a tracery yeah. is like the thing that you put in the shell, like a leg, you yeah, know, you're building like a legacy. It, that's so, but that's not the same thing. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, I'm not, not going to get really, those and put them mm, in or something. No, no, no. The shattered are barter tokens. They really need to rename them because they're not really a tracery. They're they're basically an optional that will let you buy an incomparable um, tracery. Right. So these enhancement runes are traceries. No, they're not. No, they're not. Again, they're, the, the nomenclature <laughs> is really not I thought I had it. I, th I thought I had it, but I, I didn't. Know. So, I know. So, but, so do I cash those in for something? No. What are... Yes. You... Um, you yeah. Um, we'll, we'll get to that. Okay. Okay. So, right. no Aegis, Crypt is, <laughs> Aegis Crypt is barter currency. Shattered traceries are yeah. barter currency. The barter other currency. two are not barter currency. You're not going to use currency. them to make things better. Okay. Great. Okay. So those are runes that I'm going to use kind of like I would have used the old uh, like XP runes. So I'm going to Bingo. use them and apply them to something to beef it mm -hmm. up. And right we'll up. get to that. 150 yeah, times apparently so that that's great oh, yeah actually that's exactly okay. right yeah um great it'll be fun good okay yeah. no so um previously um again unless you're intending on min maxing or playing multiple roles in group content like let's say you, you want to be a healer sometime you want to be a tank some other time or you want to be healer here and dps here you're not going to need multiple sets of allies anymore that's the, okay the wonderful thing Oh wait. Okay, hang on. So, um, if I but if I but say I now I I've been pretty much sticking for a while now with uh, uh, Redline for Burgor, but um, with uh, Wigand, right? I do usually I do Yellow Line when I'm soloing, but I will like if I'm mm -hmm. in a group, I'll switch to Blue Line uh, to tank. Okay. Um, right. So I would still want multiples for that. You can. It really depends on how optimized you want things to be. Uh huh. Like for example, Kiriana, uh, when I'm running with you, she's blue line. But when I'm right. running leveling by myself, she's red line. Red line. Sure. And yeah. I built my allies so that my DPS ally can still do reasonable heals to keep Wigan alive. Right. So if I were so wanting to raid, I would probably get myself a second ally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what I maybe should do with Wigan then, if if because I w what I was doing with Wigan, let me say, is I was using a two-handed sword for mm -hmm. his yellow line work, right? But when I shifted to blue line, I was I kept a shield and a and a and a and a, a regular sword, um, mm -hmm. uh, so that I could use shield skills in blue line, right. Um, but so would you recommend then, therefore, in that kind of an instance, maybe what I should just do is get one good um, longsword and uh, level that up and use that and the shield at all times and not worry about the extra DPS yeah. two-handed sword that, that I was doing? Yeah, that's how I built it with Kiriana, or not Kiriana, mm -hmm. Kiresa. 
the one that I right. run with you, because I want to run with you. She's blue, and otherwise she's red. Um, so you are going to notice a difference of DPS between a two-hander versus a one-hander. But here's the cool part. All of the things you bake into the traceries mm -hmm. don't matter what kind of LI it is. You can mm. mix and match them pretty much however you like. Um, mm. There are a couple of limitations. So if you want to like dump a bunch of DPS stuff into your one-handed weapon and yeah. go sword and board, yeah. go for it. And you can still tank with that. If you choose yeah. tanking, uh, L, you know, tanking traceries, that'll make you a more effective tank on a one-hander. The thing is, you won't do quite as much DPS. Right, but I would want Wigan to have plenty of DPS because he mm -hmm. solos more than he tanks. So Right, so it really depends yeah. on how much you want him to tank. But right. you can still build a reasonably acceptable one-handed guardian tanking and DPS ally. It's just you have to figure out which traceries based on how you use your skills. But okay. you can still use your shield stuff. Okay, well, I will, um, um, uh, I will consider that in the fullness of time yeah, when I come back again, to Wigan this, on this that. system will make a lot more sense when you can actually go through the whole step and see everything from the get-go. Yeah. Um, okay. And, I, and it, right. it'll, it'll make a lot more sense when you're going through it, but the main thing is you want to not just jump into things. You want to think about it and plan how you want to do it. Got it. So, okay. let's say you, bought, you got your first LI. Um, mm -hmm. If you're getting one here later on, the yeah. first thing you're going to want to do is to reforge it, and you go talk to this nice lady again and choose the second option to reforge. It'll be similar to how you see the reforging window um, with the old system. And you're going to reforge with gold. So that's kind of cool. Okay. Oh. oh. Mm-hmm. We're going to reforge with gold. Yes, and it goes to currently a maximum of 15 gold for a uh, an LI to go from 45 to 130. Okay. Okay. So, so the reason I should wait to appraise my LIs is not because I can't in increase them because when i get to 101 i can still reforge them and that'll be fine right mm -hmm. the problem is the other stuff that i cash them in for the other enhancement runes and mm -hmm. uh uh and shattered traceries which are not traceries um will be i'll get more of it once i am get... level 101 it's not that you'll get more of it. You'll get stuff that will be in the level 101 to 105 band, which means they'll they'll be better for you. They'll be more powerful. They'll last longer. Okay, so because... so what that means then is that when I... So w let's say, let's imagine the future day when I am level 101, right? And I mm -hmm. take the step and I claim my stuff and I get a new LI and I kit it out and I'm all ready to go and then I'm level 101 and I'm carrying on there in central Gondor or wherever I am in Minas Tirith I guess uh, right at level 101 and mm -hmm. then I um, get to um, level 106 okay. right so now I'm level 106 and I'm level 106 and I'm like okay I better now I got to reforge my legendary weapon and bring it up to 106. But now what happens? Mm -hmm. All the other stuff is behind now, right? Right. That's that's where you take a look at the effective level. Yeah. Um, it, it Where it would say max. It, a lot of them will say min level this, max level that. Right. Once right. you hit that max level for that item. And there is a bit of overlap. There is intentionally some overlap in that. Mm -hmm. um, those LI, Those traceries will deactivate themselves. The traceries will do, deactivate. Right. Like when I hit the maximum level. Right, right. Of that tracery, right. Okay. So once they hit that, once you exceed that level, you have two choices. You can either overwrite them with a new tracery, uh -huh. or you can unslot them currently for either Mithril Coin, or if you happen to get a tracery removal scroll, which a Wait, lot I can of the old... them in. Oh, uh, no, so I can, I can spend Mithril Coin to unequip them. Yes. And the uh -huh. reason you might want to do that is if you want to 
um, A, disenchant them for more ancient script, or B, hand them off to an alt. Right. Because they're, again, okay. found to account. Right. So I, you can cash them in for more ancient script. Mm-hmm. Okay, see, I'm, so I'm going over here and I'm looking at my... It's not a lot. It's definitely right. not a lot. Right. But some of these don't seem to cost all that much. Okay, so, so I'm, 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 mm -hmm. I'm shopping now. I'm shopping. I'm tracery yep, shopping. Um, okay, so I'm tracery shopping, and here's my burglar stuff. Though right. I noticed there are 40 pages worth of traceries here, so that's there's a lot There is a drop-down menu. Uh, if you look, there's a drop-down menu right to on. help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, uh-huh. And right they're on. in level order and then rarity order. Rarity order. Got it. So, so the cool yeah. Okay. What's it? Why does it say page one and page two? Because level the, rarity and then pages. It's just there's so many of them they have to break them up into pages. Oh, I see. Right mm -hmm. on. Okay, got it. Right. Um. Uh. Okay. So, I. Right. So this. So I would have to come and I'd have to shop for new traceries when I. So right. Exactly. When I. I. So when I cross over into one on one. So. So here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I, I hear you about waiting until I shift to 101. Uh, but here's the thing. This is Grifflet, right? So I'm about mm -hmm. to freeze him because he's in central Gondor and he's already like four levels above the landscape now. Um, okay. Uh, and so I'm not going to get to 101. I'm going to freeze him by 100 at the latest, I think. Okay. Um, then if, if you would and, like... And um... if it's going to be until Minas Tirith... I mean, good grief, I might not get to Minas Tirith until next Christmas, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's also the truth. So, so why should I like wait for these... that? Well, why, well, it's, oh, it... I, why not seize the day? Even though I know it's the level 86 band and stuff. But, okay. but my understanding, right? Okay, so if I'm getting this right, then if I were to claim, if I were to take this rash and ill-advised step to claim <laughs> my stuff for my two allies now and... Then I would get, I would, I would go ahead and I would get a level 86 weapon, right? And a level right. 86 set of tools. And then I would buy sets of level 86 traceries for those. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then I would beef them up with my enhancement runes that I would right, also get. Right, up to a certain point, and up then you point. won't be able to beef them up any any further. That's the enhancement limit that you saw earlier on that one, on the enhancement runes that you saw earlier. So, right. after a while, you, you won't be able to add more to them. They will be maxed out for the tier that you're on. They'll be maxed uh, out but, for this tier. Yeah, and then exactly. I'll need, so. The, but then when I, when I level up to 101, finally, um, when I'm ready for that step, which again, I, it's going to be months probably before I get there because I'm going to mm -hmm. I'm going to I'm going to freeze before I get there. Um, gotcha. So it's going to be what is it going to be Dal Amroth or is it going to be Minas Tirith? I'm not sure what it's going to be with uh, the levels of where I think where I get. But I think it's Minas Tirith. Okay. Um, it's, and also it's Tirith. there's the other thing is if you wanted to do that right now, the other benefit is that you will pick up more ingredients for Along the system. The way. Along the yeah. way, exactly. Yeah, right. exactly. So that when it's time for me to do my level 101 upgrade, which mm -hmm. on the surface looks soon, <laughs> since I'm level 99, soon. but yeah. chronologically speaking, is probably not right. soon at all. Um, then why don't, okay. yeah, why don't I just wait to do that, and then that way I can do. Uh, so, so okay, so again, so if I understand, so what I will do then at that point in the future is I will just reforge my weapon which will still be fine right but mm -hmm. i'll need to upgrade the traceries and but i can't upgrade those traceries because they'll be past their 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 level so if i go let me go uh let me look at so i'm You'll choosing start... i'm looking at traceries i'm looking at level 86 traceries right here okay and let's imagine that i can i'm gonna splurge and get legendary level 86 traceries okay let's yeah, imagine that's... that I know that's like probably not going to happen, but let's just imagine, right, right that I'm reasons. doing that. Okay, right. Okay, so here I am, theoretically purchasing uh, like a backstab damage uh, tracery at level 86. It's a gold one. This thing looks awesome, and I would get this right, and then I would be enhancing it with my enhancement runes, 
or whatever, right? Right. But I know and whatever. You, notice... you can explain why this can't happen later. But the but but the, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. And I noticed right. I've got a shattered uh, token thing, tracery. Right. That exactly. isn't a tracery but that I can hand in for a tracery. You don't have the gold one. You have a cyan one for incomparable. So if you go down to the uh, incomparable page, you would get. Uh, what you if need. I, and if, if you I, notice, um, if you hover over the yeah. uh, the tracery again. Yeah. You'll see two two key pieces of info. I need to see okay. the tooltip. Okay. First of all, you will see you know what it's going to give you, like your positional damage, your finesse yeah. rating. You'll yeah. see the enhancement limit. That's how many, how how far you can add enhancement runes to it. Till it says it's level two hundred, then it's done. Ah, so the so other... so this is where my cyan enhancement runes come in. No, not necessarily. No. Not no, that's necessarily. not where it comes in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. However, I, the other I thing. I had it. Yeah, Okay, it's no, fine. You're there. I'm good. You're there. I'm good. I'm, I'm so I, getting I there. Had a lesson. Okay. Chat, yeah. I had a lesson plan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was okay. up till 7 in the morning on this. All right. You know, the other thing you notice your max level says 105, I think, Squint? 105? Uh, so, max level, yes. Mm -hmm. 105. So here's the overlap I was talking to you about. Right. So I can, I can keep using it. Yes. Until yeah. 105, and then wow. you ding 106 and start doing 106 stuff. So you could skip 101 to 105. So I put this puppy on my 86er, right? I cross over to 101, I reforge the thing, keeping this baby on it, and I can still use it until 105. Right. Now, go down to where you choose a 101 uh, enhance, or tracery. Okay. Right on. I'm going wanna, to... We want to check to see the enhancement limit will be increased on it. Incomparable... Okay, looking at the backstab damage there. Okay. Okay, uh, you notice this one has a max level of 115. Yeah. And the enhancement limit says 299, is that right? That's correct. Okay. So, so it does an means... enable me to enhance it more, because the other one was 200, mm -hmm. the enhancement So there one. is definitely overlap. Right, there's overlap. It would be advantageous to upgrade to the 101s, mm -hmm. but it's not the end of the... Because I can enhance it 99 exactly. more times. But it's not the end of the world if I stick with my 200 right. enhancement maxed out level exactly. uh, 86er, which is good to 105. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So okay. that's... So, so, so what this means is when... And I say when, not if. When I forget to upgrade my legendary items later on... Um, I, I can do that for longer before it will be horribly disastrous. Right. Yeah. So I, I would say, you know, because I honestly hadn't considered the fact that you take forever to get through content um, and that you're going to tortoise him up. Tortoise, you yeah. Could, you could conceivably go through, start the process now and we can continue this. Um, yeah. And so if you want to appraise your allies, I would say, sure, go for it. Let's do it. I'm, I'm, let's I'm, do it. I'm all in. Let's, let's I'm YOLO. All in. I'm all in. That's it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start with my weapon because no, I'm going to start with my tools because I'm a coward. So appraise. So here's here's and it looks almost exactly the same because it's they're the same level as the other one. So I'm going to do it. I'm claiming. Do it. Boom. Okay. And it's all still right. there. The thing is yes. still there. It, it won't take it out of this panel and it won't right. destroy the LI. You're just appraising. You notice the appraise button has gone away. Right. Okay, now go to your other two and do the same thing. Okay. I do the I do the bridal too, even though bridles yep. don't do the thing yet. Bridles will still get you materials. You just can't upgrade a bridle at okay. this time. All right. So I'm, 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 I'm claiming all the stuff. And this puts me... Now I'm checking my wallet here too. And mm -hmm. this stuff is going to be where there it is. Item advancement. So I'm, yeah, I'm at, mm -hmm. I'm almost maxed for ancient script. So it's a good thing I don't have any others. I've got nine, nine, 9,900. Nice. Yeah. So I'm like so good, good flush well, you, with ancient script. Let, let me put it this way. You won't be for long. <laughs> right. <Okay. laughs> that's, so I figured that. Okay. Let's go over and talk to the nice lady. All right. So go and talk to the nice lady. First new LI. This is exciting. Right. It is very exciting. All right. So here we go. I am. Oh, look at this. I can actually purchase things now. So okay. I'm going to go down to, yep. oh, just, they don't do it. Okay. That's fine. Um, as I, as I recall is on this page anyway, I want a dagger. So I'm going to get a burglar's dagger of legends, right? If you prefer a dagger, uh, hobbits will get a bonus to a club. You can always, I, know, I can't backstab get... somebody with a club. That's ridiculous. I'm using you, a deck. You just, or you're not thinking about set of the box, sir. That's all. 
No. Oh, come on. That's ridiculous. Maven, yes, there is, actually. Uh, there was... Uh, a there tracery carry-all? Yeah, there was one that came with the Ultimate yeah. Edition of Gundabad. Dagger. You should have one, actually, Corey. Really? Yeah. I Look, there's nothing I love better than a good carry-all. Okay, here I am. Wait, no, I've no, got... I lied. I, know, I totally lied. It was a die carry-all, my bad. Oh, okay. But there, no, there was one available. I have one. Oh, it was a die carry-all. Okay, that's useful, too. Yeah. All right, yeah, I got is. a dagger. I got a okay. dagger, and here we go. So now I need to forge it. You also need to get uh, burglar tools. Oh, yeah, I should get burglar tools, too. And those are um, class items. Burglar tools. Okay. Good. Got them both. Do I, and, but I don't need a bridle, because we're not doing that. You yet. can't buy a bridle. There isn't right. one available. Yeah, not an option. There are a okay. couple of things that aren't uh, LIs that are available to barter for from this lady. One is a map back to here. I don't Ooh. recommend wasting... Yeah, nah. don't it's waste... It's in Rivendell. Your... Yeah. Exactly. Just, don't waste your... You just have to your... walk up the stairs. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. Also, considering how hard or difficult it will be to get ancient script in the future, you don't want to waste your... Don't waste your money as to... Uh... And you can right. also buy enhancement runes here, but we'll get to that. The other one you Check can see, if you scroll up, there is a tracery reclamation scroll. Ah, uh, right. That's for right. Yes. That's for if you want to strip it and got, got it. Okay. Right. Recordation scroll. Yeah. So Just that's, for like yeah. the relic mm -hmm. removal scrolls. In fact, exactly. all the old relic removal scrolls should have been converted to an essence or tracery removal selection box. Really? That's lovely. And yes, Blossomberry, that's why you don't want to waste your ancient script on the map. The map is consumed on use. I checked. <laughs> yeah, that that's ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's not yeah. something. You so, it's I, I wouldn't have thought it was worth 200 uh, uh, ancient yeah. scripts, even if it stuck around. But they use 200 the every time. It, That's absurd. Yeah. Well, I think they, they put that in there as a as a, a currency sink for folks who are maxed out and want to go do more questing, because you cannot okay. you lose out on any ancient script you'd get. I mean, for any I guess other if source. you've got, I guess if you've got it to burn, but um, okay. Anyway, yeah, that's then fine. Why not just get the the re, the removal scrolls? Those right, would the, be more useful. The reclamation scrolls or more enhancement runes. Yeah, exactly. Okay, all right. Well, that's fine. So now I need to uh, I need to uh, forge them, right? Yep, reforge for gold. Okay, and this will reforge, reforge based on Grifflet's current level. So however many okay. gold that is. Uh, Before oh, you, like you, you, you can also rename it. So if you want to rename it. Um, you can re if you X out of that window, you should be able to rename. Oh, oh, I if see. you wanted to give it a clever name. Oh, um, no, I can never think of clever names spontaneously on stream. So I'm just going to reforge my tools. <laughs> okay. Um, no legacy was upgraded or added to this, to this legendary yeah. item because normally people would be like, they're used to that, right? They're being like, hey, why mm -hmm. didn't I get a legacy? Because they're not, they don't exist anymore. So that's fine. Okay, so I've reforged them. Now what are they? Now they're different? Okay, now they're gold. Now, it's gold. Well, it's always gold. Um, it's always so gold. now look at the tool tip. Originally. You notice the, you have yeah. more slots available to you. Right. Yeah, I've got And look at the DPS slots. rating. Compare the okay. DPS rating to the DPS of your current ally. Holy cow. Yes. <laughs> that's like 50% more DPS. Yes. Uh, Okay. All right. That'll do. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, man. Those uh, Madden bears in Central Gondor better look out. Okay. <laughs> so, I, what, okay, I, if I can ask a question here, there seem to be fun little icons, like the top yes. slot has like a shield and a, or mm -hmm. something like Stars and Stripes, and the second one has a, I don't even know what, but there, I mean, there's different, like, are those different right. slots? Do they do yeah, different Yeah, those things? are different kinds of slots. Um, and okay. We're going to go through those. Oh, great. They're, yeah, there are various categories of traceries. The top <sighs> one is the heraldic tracery. That's the main stats befitting your class and primary role in like tank, deeps, heals. You can have one of those per gotcha. ally. Okay. Um, okay. Below All right, that. So, oh, sorry. Lost it. Yep. Where'd I go? Yep. Okay. Uh, there we are. Right. Yep. Below that is going to be the word of power. These will be Ooh. trace traceries that fill out your specific role in the Trinity, adding right. to your overall effectiveness in that role. These are unique uh -huh. equipped. Out of all of these, are the only ones that are unique equipped, and you can't have more than one of each specific named tracery 
of each kind across all of your allies. So if you get multiple allies because you want to roll swap, um, you can only have one, say, attack damage critical or whatever. Um, okay. You have you'll have a maximum of two words. And that's of power per character, I assume. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Um, maximum um. two on your weapon and three on your class item when you hit level one thirty. I don't okay. know where you start getting new slots, but eventually you'll get new slots when you reforge. It's really cool. Right. Okay. So I see. So I've got the word of power, which is the second one. I've got mm -hmm. the heraldic slot, which is the top one. And mm -hmm. then I've got three burglars, like class slots, apparently. Right. Those are your right. words of mastery. These are uh -huh. most similar to your legacies. When you purchase those, right, you'll right. see the, the name, pretty much the same legacy names that you're used to seeing for the most part. A couple of classes didn't go one to one like champions no longer have our damage critical multiplier. And we're all mad about it <clears throat> okay. but it's honestly okay. it's okay they bake that damage into our allies so we're, we're still we're still i see right on. okay and you can have a maximum of six of those at level 130 so i think you have three right now so as time right progresses now. you'll add a fourth a fifth and eventually a sixth okay and then finally right. the last one is called a word of craft uh, this oh. will make your overall role more powerful with some choices offering a set bonus if used in pairs uh, like one right. on one ally, one on another, or in quartets, two on each ally. So right now you could do a pair and get the pair set bonus, and you can take a look at well, how do I want to do this when I get to four? So you have to you know plan it, plan ahead a little bit. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's more complicated mm -hmm. than I thought, but that's okay. I I, I uh, like. There's nothing I like better than a little complexity. So okay. A, a little bit, yeah. I'm I'm good with that. So I've got these and I've upgraded them. Now, ha are they upgraded to their item level 190? I see, which mm -hmm. I don't. So, um, but they That's these are level 86 band, and I and I can't. So uh, when I reforged right now, I reforged mm -hmm. from cyan to gold, right? You refor no, you didn't reforge from no. cyan to gold at all. You reforged from gold level 45 to gold level 99. Right. Or 86. Yeah, these are all legendary. I, the actual shell that you're putting yeah. all these happiness in, they're all gold. Okay, but hang on a second now. Um, it says minimum level 99, but mm -hmm. I thought it was in the band, so it should be like minimum level you know, 86. No, the traceries are in the band. The traceries the are in the band. Yes. Got it. So the, the ally, do I, gonna... do, do I do the ally then every time I level? No, every five no. levels is generally recommended. Okay, so it's it it, it, it won't matter. So I, I won't yeah. be able to reform. If I come back when I get to level 100 and it says minimum level 99, she's going to be like, I don't care. Come back when you're level 101. Yeah, or yeah. Okay. So all right. next all, okay. you want to come over to this other room. There's a little alcove over here. Oh, yeah, different room here. Okay. Yeah, there's another room. Okay, so the tracery, the okay. class traceries were over. Oh, right. These are the different, the special right. traceries. So these are uh, over here, the... the uh, very Welsh symbol uh, right. with the yellow flags is your heraldic traceries. Aha, uh -huh. got it. And I apologize it. for my cat. He, he's very unhappy. That, that's okay. That's okay. He wants um, to contribute. And then next to that are your word of craft. Those are the ones at the bottom of the The ones pile. at the bottom, right? I remember that. And then I've got the words of power on the other side. Okay. So right. I'm looking at my heraldry ones. Mm -hmm. And I see I only have 10 pages. So, but here I'm going to go to the level 86 ones, right? Right. And because my f my stuff is gold, I can go legendary, right? No. No. You no. need the gold. I need the gold shattered tracery to do that. Okay, if, so if you hang actually on. select that, go, my you, shattered traceries, mm -hmm. my shattered trace. Oh, right, those are cyan. Right, right cyan's and the golds. You have to have that extra little goodie, um, and unless you're doing group content or a few select. Uh, epic pieces of the story, um, you will not be seeing the goals. And that's fine. That's one of the things that needs to be understood about the system. If you're doing a landscape the way Grifflet is doing landscape, you don't need to worry about the science that much. You don't need to worry about the goals at all. Um, because when you're doing group content, you're going to have a posse who's over leveled anyway. We're going to keep you alive. You don't need the group content goal traceries. But will I, where, if in theory, I were like greedy and ambitious and wanted mm -hmm. to get the gold ones, right. where would, how do I get these? Would they, will they drop random uh, places? Only, only in a very few select um, uh, epic stories where currently a gold tracery, or I'm sorry, a, a legendary a uh, LI item would drop like yeah. your, I guess, 
I haven't looked at the Gondor ones yet, but I imagine mm -hmm. where you got like the first age symbol of uh, the Elder King, they're probably going to switch them to Gold Tracers. I don't know. I do okay. know they did add a Gold Tracery to the end of the Gunda pre Gundabad uh, epic story, and a lot of people are mad because they did that quest and they're not going to retroactively give us those Gold Tracery. I'm kind of salty about that. I see. I see. Um, okay. Yes. So most folks go to this side room and buy up their main traceries before they go back to the main room and pick up their class specific ones. Because none of these in this room are class specific; they're right. role specific. Role specific too. So right. So mm -hmm. if, if you so you get like uh, so I well let me see. Let me go to my so let me stop fantasizing about the legendaries because mm -hmm. that is not for you, Grifflet. So incomparable still sounds cool so i've got uh my choices i oh i i, I i'm choosing a totem animal am i that's 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 what one yeah, does with much, heraldry yeah the animal kind of hints to what you're going to be doing um right. and also you want to keep an eye on how many of those shattered things you have because those are how many incomparables you can get everything else you can get for like rare or common i suggest rare if you've got the, the ancient script to support it Yep. Okay. So, but I'm going to get, so, but this is for my weapon. So I want, you know, mm -hmm. like cool stuff. So, so, I, right, so right. lion I see is might and vitality and physical mastery. And then serpent is agility and vitality. Very tempting for Grifflet, I must say. So he might be sorting into Slytherin here. Uh, eagle is will and vitality. Ox might and vitality and physical mastery like unto the lion and yet different they're from more vitality west might okay uh sparrow agility you might have to get it just by the name because otherwise I know, you know exactly our like the heraldry might... of the sparrow yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. i gotta tell sparrow about that but anyway okay so i got <laughs> 150 agility and 320 vitality compared to less agility and or more agility and less vitality yeah no right. i'm like in the i always prefer vitality is my favorite yeah thing to boost yeah the, the serpent one is more damage and yeah. the sparrow is more survivability yeah that's what i like uh for my burglar so okay i'm gonna go with sparrow i'm gonna go with sparrow for my weapon but you can now, also... but as you say i can only get one for each right not no no there was only only the words of power oh, are unique. Right. These okay. you can mix and match. You can double up. You can mix and match however you like. Because I know gonna, a lot of people I can do double one up. of each. You okay. could. You could so buy I, both I, I, sparrow, I, 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 I get a sparrow for my dagger and a and a and a, and a serpent for my uh, for my tools. Yeah, you can you can do that. A lot of people do because they want to be able to get that little extra uh, survivability, but still be able to do reasonable damage on either one. Right. Right. Okay, and both of them give physical mastery rating mm -hmm. as well. Yep. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get a sparrow here. All right, so we've got a sparrow now. Um, how do I put it? Do, do I? How do I? Do, is there a place okay. I have to go to put it on, or do I just? Yep. Uh, there will be a place. There is a place. If you go to place. your character portrait, click C. Okay. Right on. Mm -hmm. Look under your boots. You're gonna see a little icon of a flame. That is the old essence socketing system that. I don't know too many people actually used, but I could be wrong. Wait, where? Below Under your boots. Under my feet. Yeah. No, below your boots, I your your boot slot. I'm sorry. Oh, the boot slot. Okay, I'm like, my where, I'm, I'm like, well, my boots are right here <laughs> on my feet. Okay, right, the slot. flame. Got it. Okay. Okay, what you'll do, and this is the pain, the most pain in the butt of the system. Okay. In terms of how you're going to work it, you have to drag your LI to it. Right. Okay. One could theoretically right click it. Uh, no. No. Right okay. click will try to equip it, but you can't equip it while you still have your two old allies equipped. Oh, I've got it. I've got. Oh, wait. Okay. So that did that not work? That didn't work. Cannot be used on that target because I've got the old one on. Okay. Right. So you I can't drag it to your equipment. You have to drag it to the socket, the flame socket. No, I did, but it didn't work. Mm. Hang on. I'm going to, I'm going to D, I'm going to, I'm going to unequip my old stuff right okay what so right is that yep okay that's fine okay so now i'm going to take my sparrow heraldry and i'm bringing dragging it to the flame now you're going to drag your li to the flame 
Oh God, I was dragging the wrong thing. I'm dragging my new dagger to the flame. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Um, and you okay. can bring, you can make that bigger at the bottom if you're going to want to. This is right. also part, yeah, in the middle. There you go. Um, Got it. And the main thing is you're going to want to max that out because as as these things, as you get older and get more sockets or slots on them, the the tool tip is massive and will actually over right there. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Anyway. So now I'm going to put the heraldry one here. Oh, look, it's all sparkling to show me where it's Yes, going. the sparkly yes. is very useful. And I you totally... can't just like drag it onto the UI. You have to be very precise in, in placing. Otherwise, Got it won't socket. Okay, all right. Um, okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to sparrow it. And this is still a work in progress. They are, okay. they're looking at ways and means. So the, what's this, uh, what's this little icon? Oh, if I, that I can is mithril, the mithril it? Coin. Yeah, that's the mithril. Don't click. Honestly, uh, I'll be honest. It, unless you're min maxing at bleeding edge of rating, you're never going to need to use mithril coin on these things unless okay. you want to unslot and you don't have a, a thing to right. So scroll. this is to unslot, uh, which I can do with mithril coins or that scroll, mm -hmm. and this is to beef it up, which I can do anyway with you know, by other means. Right now on the yeah. right hand side, that is if you notice, it's going to tell you what level to what level. That is right. the effective range of how far you can max this out with enhancement runes. Got it. So we up to one ninety, which is the maximum for mm -hmm. this item anyway. Okay. Yeah, and the All important right. thing. About I'm gonna get reason. another sparrow to put on my uh, put okay. on my thing. Okay. So meanwhile, I'm gonna buy another sparrow, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna then Don't I'm gonna click that button multiple times. Right. Yeah. No, I won't do that. And then I will uh, slot the sparrow here on my tools as well. Yes, because that's one thing to be very cautious about. There is no buyback for this system. If you barter for it, just like with any <laughs> right. barter in the game, right. you're okay. out of luck. You buy it, you've got it. Okay, I'll be very, very careful not to double, not to double tap. All right. So I, I have, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm heralded. I'm heralded now. Awesome. So uh, next, I should do what's this one? Um, that's your craft. That's the the one at the bottom. The right. The if you want to, you. The way I personally do it is I go, um, Hey, my heraldry first. has two words of power. Sorry. You do heraldry first and then what? Yes, words of power? Yes, because you, you reforged it. You got another slot. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see that before. Cool. So I do the uh, words of power next? Yeah, okay. that's the way I do it. I do the, um, heraldry, I like to go in words order. of power. Uh, well, I always do the mastery less because they're in the other room. Ah, okay. All right. So I'm going to go back up to incomparable 86 words of power traceries. And okay. now I've got my choice. Okay. So this is how where many, how many cracked extra goodies do you have there left? I've got seven. So okay. I can, do, and I've got four slots. Is that right? So if I, if I, if I do my dagger to check on that one, uh, no, yeah, I only have one slot here. So yeah, that's I have typical. Okay, so I've got three total word of power slots, two on my tools right. and one on my dagger. So right. I'm going to choose three of these and to add on. This is where you're going to want to think about what role you're going to be doing in combat and yep. what you want to boost the most. Okay, so what I want to boost. Um, area of effect, that would be a little bit nice because Griffith is sometimes attacked by more than one impolite person um a healing i don't need obviously um area mm -hmm. of effect target count seems ambitious uh base morale multiplier really morale yeah, multiplier that's very handy if you if you want that goes up to plus five percent i believe um very handy if you need a little extra survivability and you have hmm. a slot that you're not filling Okay, um, I'll think about that. So damage I'm not a over burglar expert, so yeah, um, damage over time. Uh, yeah, uh, and these are the unique ones, so you you don't want to buy more than one. Wait, uh, all of these are unique. Yeah, if you notice, it says unique use. So no, if you buy that. one for your that? sword, in the tooltip. Oh, in the tool, I gotta actually right. click into the so, little thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, so unique if you buy one use. for your dagger. Oh, at the very top, right. Okay. Yeah. If you buy one for your dagger, you don't. You can't buy one and use it on your toolkit. So that's unique per character. Correct. But there's so many of these that 
you're not going to want to double them up unless you're really yeah. super right. trying to yeah. be maxed. No, then absolutely. Yes, we'll okay. Down. All right. So let's see. Evade chance. That looks handy. Um, uh, incoming healing bonus. Nah. Um, parry chance. No, so let me go up to page two here. Let me see where, where we and, go. Here. And these uh, these words of power are grouped by color. Um, your reds are going to be damage. Your blues yeah. are going to be survivability or tanking. Uh, your greens are heals. And the yellows are support stuff. So again, that right. really feeds into what spec you are for your character. So if you're primarily red line, then your, your first choices are probably going to be the red ones. Okay. Ooh, incoming damage reduction. Is that handy? Yeah, that's a that's a tanking one. Now that's the tactical. That's for spell, like uh, you know, if you're being right. beat up on okay. by yeah, casters. Yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. Um, all right, so I think I'm gonna go with not ranged attack. Obviously, that would be if I were a hunter or something. Um, um, but I very rarely attack from distance. So single target. Now, what's the advantage between like uh, damage and criticals? Like, probably well, just damage. Well, damage is, is straight, straight up damage. Straight up damage, yeah, I know. Right. I mean, Criticals but like, is if you do a crit roll on it, like, you know, in D&D &D terms, let's say you roll natural 20, you right. crit. But that's also if I'm, uh, if I'm attacking from stealth, I'd be probably critting, right? If your skills are set to proc that way, yeah. Okay. Like, if you handy. have a skill that is auto crit then yeah, you're gonna want the, the attack damage criticals. Okay. I, I personally tend to go for things that are gonna guarantee you damage. Yeah. Uh, and then add things that are gonna be chances. Like you're not always going, unless you have an, a guaranteed Well, crit. I don't, and I don't really have an area of attack weapon. I'm using mm -hmm. a dagger for crying out loud. So right, I'm but gonna, you have I'm gonna area go with attack single... skills. Some, not too yeah, many. Yeah, but if like you're primarily um, single targeting, then yeah, single targeting, yeah. those two are going to be your... Okay. Well, this one seems person. safe. Single attack, target mm -hmm. attack damage seems pretty safe. So I'm going to buy this once. Okay. So I bought this once, and I'm going to put it on my dagger because that seems thematically apt. Yeah, and these, you can mix and match where they go. It doesn't right. really matter. It doesn't really matter, um, right. yeah. But it... it a lot of us are doing it based on what makes sense thematically and our how our brains organize the data. Right. Okay. So now I'm going to do the two for my tools. Mm -hmm. And for these, I think I want. I'm, I'm still considering adding a single target critical because, again, mm -hmm. if I can beef up my chance of one-shotting folks from stealth, Grifflet will be super happy um, mm -hmm. because very little makes Grifflet happier than one-shotting something from stealth. So... Um, let us see, because though some of the survivability stuff uh, is kind of attractive also. So, Well, one um, thing to bear in mind is the mobs have not been scaled for this system. So the mobs are still doing the same old damage they were before. You're going to just kill them a heck of a lot faster. Hey, I, I, Grifflet has no complaints. Um, I'm, I'm tempted by this base morale multiplier. <clears throat> More morale uh, mm -hmm. is always a thing that I enjoy. Damage over time. <sighs> More dots. More dots. To use yeah. the old meme. More dots. So are, if you're if you're doing a lot of bleeds, damage over time is essential. If I you're think, not doing a lot of bleeds, then uh, I'm too impatient you know. for damage over time. So I'm uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna choose base morale, and I think I'm gonna go mm -hmm. back and do the single attack critical. Okay. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um. Um, uh, okay. All right. Yeah, I know double-edged strike is an AOE, but it's like my only one. So like, why should I get a whole thing for that? Mm -hmm. for Eventually you can scale. pick that up later, honestly. Right. Cause As I'll get more get... slots. Right. You'll, you'll right. get, uh, okay. I think how many? I want this one. I'm getting, there we go. So now I'm going to slot this puppy right here. There we go. And... Morale yeah, eventually you'll get two slots on your weapon and three on your class item at 130 for those words cool. of power. So eventually you'll get more spaces to put more things. Cool. All right. So I'm going to go back to page two and I'm going to get my single attack criticals and I'm going to barter for that. And if you barter for 
more than one unique item, you're just hosed. You just can't use it. Yeah, okay. you have to either pass it off to an alt or deconstruct it for ancient script. Right. Okay. All right. So I'm done with my words of power. Now I'm going to go to my craft. Yep. And you'll get one of each. Okay. So now I've got yeah, I've got one of each on on these. So here. Um, once again, gonna yeah. go to level eighty-six, incomparable. And I still have four of my shattered traceries, right. which are not traceries, mm -hmm. so I can, um, I can get one of each of these. Yeah, yeah this uh, and in. yeah, and these are geared towards your play style. What are you actually doing? Um, right. And some of them do have set bonuses. If uh, the ones at the I bottom, I have one page of these, right? This is all of them. This is all. Yeah. Okay. There are set bonuses, you say? Mm -hmm. Some of them have set bonuses. Like the ones that say Ascendant at the bottom of the list have set bonuses. And some folks are going with the Ascendant Lightning, even though they're not Lightning Rune Keepers, because the set bonus gets you an additional crit rating, so they're going for the crit. Um, so they're ignoring the two, the, the Lightning's damage, and they don't care. They, they want the crit rating. That is way too long-term for me. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to be... I mean, look, honestly. Grifflet is going to be level 130 sometime in the year mm -hmm. 20... 20 million? Seven or something like that. So, In the year yeah. 2525? Exactly. Yeah, I, I, at the very... Yeah, something like that. Okay, so... So you can um, take a look at the other options, yeah. like the no, Empowered Blades, the Perfect that Whatever. Seems, that seems silly. Uh, so the Ascendant... So... Plus 15% fire damage? I don't do fire damage. Okay, so that's useless. So... Perfect recovery, incoming healing rating, uh, critical rating. So perfect precision would give increased critical mm -hmm. rating. Uh, I know a lot of folks will go with the Ascendant Light option, the second to the last, simply because it gets you an outgoing. It's it's better for healers, but you do get that 15% yeah. light type damage with two. Whatever. Of them. Oh, for Griffith, yeah. those are both useless. Okay, so but mm -hmm. Empowered Blades seems handy. Mm -hmm. Physical Mastery rating. I still don't really understand what Physical Mastery does, but If that's you okay. go to your character and, and hover over Physical Mastery, it'll tell you. Okay. Uh, increases melee damage and range damage dealt by you. Okay. Yep. That so Physical good. Mastery is good for a burglar. Physical Mastery is good for burglar. All right, so I'll, I'll mm -hmm. get that one for my knife. But I am in my, what am I in right now? I'm in my tools right now. So I want to uh, see what else I can get. Um, so Empowered Destruction. I would get that for the name alone. Um, yeah. I mean, and maybe I will because that'll increase my crit rating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can yeah, double down one. on that crit thing. Um, empowered Destruction. I think so. Uh, now, Evasion is a little bit tempting. Uh, wizardry, it's not, as cool not as tempting. I know, right? Do, oh, oh, okay. So I was really hoping that there was an Exemplary Destruction one because I was going to have to go with that just for no right? purposes alone. Um, but uh, that's fine. These are all so Exemplary or Empowered, it doesn't matter. There's, it's yeah, they're just, just different names to kind of categorize names. them, yeah. Okay. Grand armor. Right, grand that one's going to yeah, well, help that's with tactical incoming mitigation, damage. Mitigation. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to do empowered destruction because what could be better? So, All empowered right. destruction, and I'm putting it on my tools. Tools of empowered destruction. There we go. All right. Yeah. And uh, now I'm going to shut that down and I'm going to put my dagger back up and I'm going to get my empowered blades. Okay. And I'm going to put that one on. Okay. So there we go. There's my extra physical mastery rating. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Um, All right. Okay. So now I just have to go do my class ones. Right. You go to the burglar window. Which was over here, as I recall. Okay, so here's my burglar once. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to burglar traceries, level 86, mm -hmm. incomparable, page one. You can, this is where, because you only have two of those extra things, you're going to want to take a look at the two skills, um, the two, quote unquote, the, what used to be legacies, to find out which ones you're going to get the most effect out of. Right like, on. 
And then later on, you can upgrade them later. So I'll, I'll upgrade my two favorite ones with incomparables, and then I'll do mm -hmm. the like the yellows for the or the purples for the or the whatever. purples, right? Yeah, the purples. Okay, all right. So, oh, what do we have? Adult? No, no. Um, all in melee damage, which I've uh, never really understood. Okay, so backstab damage that I understand, um, and that is a that's a candidate. Um, uh, Let's see, coup de grace, I forget to use. Um, let's see, mischievous glee, which I would use for nomenclature purposes, but I don't understand it, and I think that's a different line anyway. Yes. Um, but you can mix and match red, blue, and yellow line uh, traceries if you want. There's no thing that says you have to be in right. particular whatever. It's just how you want to... Sneak Keep movement speed. That is by far my favorite legacy. Uh, excuse me, tracery. Um, so yeah, that's totally going to be, well, I'm getting an incomparable one of that for sure. And surprise strike damage. I think those are my two right there. Okay. And then the um, rest? Surprise strike anybody? critical chance and backstab bonus, however, also a candidate. Since I've upgraded my critical chance and, st and my critical damage... Maybe I can try to stack these um, by getting this and then the surprise critical damage I can just do in the... Let me see. This is 50% and 836. So let me see what the rare is for surprise strike damage. Yeah, there really isn't a huge gap. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's that's almost exactly identical. Yeah, um, I mean, at lower levels, the, the gap isn't that big. The gap does get a little bit wider the higher right. levels you get. But okay. again, quite frankly, purples will do you for landscape. You don't really need to focus a lot on the incomparables. It's just since you had the current... Since I have it, I'm well. going to... Right, exactly. I'm gonna, it's just going to yeah. use up uh, it, inventory space. It's a little bit of extra icing on the cake. Absolutely. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Um, and uh, I'm going to get out of my blade and I'm going to go back to my tools because sneak movement speed was always on my tools. And so for old time's sake, I'm going to put uh, my incomparable page two, 86 sneak movement speed. Let me just make sure that is minimum level 86. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Sneak movement speed, by far my favorite tracery. And then I'm going to do the surprise strike critical chance and backstab bonus. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to put this here. Word of mastery. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put this i'm gonna put that one on my blade again thematic um what else do i want to put here now i'm gonna so right i'm out of the i'm out of incomparables now so now okay, i go so back to rares yep okay so i've got sneak movement speed i've got the surprise strike and backstab bonus i want to surprise strike damage okay and um no tricks for crying out loud um So I still have two more I can put here. Mm -hmm. Let me go back. You want to keep board. an eye on? I I'm gonna make your screen bigger. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. You make do want to keep an eye on how much ancient script you have left. Seventeen hundred. So okay. I'm still okay. I can buy what five more of these suckers, and I only need. Mm -hmm. I, I've, I'm good. So I think I'm good. So yeah. here is my surprise uh, stab. And so I put that in. Um, and I also need to keep an eye on the time so I don't abandon my son. Because mm -hmm. we and, still have to do uh, right, your enhancements. Uh, enhancements. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. All right. So there we go. Um, so I've got one empty slot here. So let me just fill that. Um, and... Let me go back to page one and just add backstab damage. Okay. 
with the amount of stealthing that Grifflet does, this seems like the most precarious approach. I'm really doubling down on my attacks, my backstab from stealth. Okay, so traceries all done on my weapon. Great. Right. Okay, so now let me go back to my. And again, this is tools. They are aware this is clunky as heck right now. They're, I think no they're working on improvements. And I got two more, and I can afford uh, four more, so I'm good. Um, so I want two more. Let me get... Um, not the chain skills. Maybe the coup de grace damage. Um, yeah, yeah. Dust in the eyes, missed chance. That's kind of fun. Um, also mischievous glee, which I almost wish I used, um, reveal weakness. Yeah, we get that one because that will help inspire me to use reveal weakness more often. Yep. That, it, which would be it, a good this idea. Is definitely helpful for folks that wanted to switch up their old allies, but really didn't have the means to do so, or, um, yeah. this is like a fresh start. So, yeah. okay. All right. So now I'm going to. It's so nice to be able to pick. Can I just say how nice it is to shop for these instead of mm -hmm. like the luck of the draw? And I always tried to transfer the legacy, like, you know, my favorite legacy, and then it would never let me just like randomly. And I could never figure out why it wouldn't let me. But anyway, okay. So one more purge corruption. Is that this? No, that's burglar's antidote. What does purge corruption do? No, that's just a different thing. Okay, fine. I don't, I don't, I don't use that. I don't think. Um, but faint I use. Isn't that faint? No, that's provoke. What's faint? I should know my... Oh, yeah. Oh, faint I use all the time. Yeah, let's totally do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. There it is. Yeah, I wasn't offering okay. suggestions on how to play burglar. Right, because I know you're not a burglar expert. That's fine. Okay. There we go. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. So, the so final... I'm good. Uh, now, once you got your tracery slotted, you can use those enhancement runes to increase the power of these slots. Now, this is kind of where the nomenclature breaks down again, because the enhancement runes are not improving the quality of the tracery per se. And this is where it's actually really cool. They're improving the efficacy of the slot the tracery is in. So, in the future, if you decide to switch a tracery ah. out, like unslot it or put it, you know, override it with a new one, destroy it with and override a new one, the 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 amount of enhancement runes you've already spent stick with the slot, not the tracery. So you don't lose out on those enhancements. Got it. And yeah. that's like no, that's a great. super improvement to the system. Yeah, no, that's great. Okay, so I can my maximum level on the item is 190. Mm -hmm. Where do I see the current level on the traceries? Uh, right there where it says L126 to then slash 190. That oh, is the current 126 level. out of 190. Right. Right. Okay. Now, Great. here's how you want to spend enhancement runes, and this is very important. Okay. You spend them in order of rarity. You spend your yellows first, purple second, cyan's third, legendaries or golds last, because each one of those will have a higher effective limit. So you don't want to, you know, throw, you know, front load these and use your legendaries first, because first of all, you don't get that many of them. And secondly, use the smaller ones because they do the same amount of leveling. So they count the same, but the legendaries will let you go further up to that 190 count. Okay. There, there have been so... times that I've had purples in Scions, and I never got to the Scions because I had more than enough purples to get that to my level cap. Okay, so I should start with purple. So I just double click it? Yes. No, drag it onto the, the icon. If you click it, oh, now, right. you see sparkly. Oh, right, I drag please. it on. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna I'm just going to start upgrading my uh, heraldry. Yeah, start, always start with the heraldry. I always go with the heraldries and craft and power first and then mastery last again. Okay. So use enhancement to level it up, yes. Um, you, oh, oh, good. I can get how many? So I can level it up to how many? It says I can use 49? Yeah. How many do you actually have? Uh, one, 450. Okay. So this is where you want to be careful of how much 
you want if you want to, you know, if you so have enough. So one one of these will boost it one level. So from one twenty six to one twenty seven. Mm hmm. And right. it doesn't matter what color it is, but so what's the difference? What's the point of the blues? Like of the science. Well, if you notice, uh, if you hover over the purple first, and then hover over the actual. Oh, thing, the enhancement you... limit. Right. So that's. So why these will take it. it up to one seventy five. That's mm -hmm. why it's maxing it out at forty nine because that'll max it up to one seventy five. I am so right. tracking with that now. Okay, so this will max it up to one seventy five. But if I want to get it from one seventy five to one ninety, I got to use the science. Got it. So, so on top of this. Okay. Um, so it's going to take me 49 to do each one. And I have scads of these. So I am going to, um, I can do, it's essentially 50. So I can do nine of them, uh, up to mm -hmm. 175, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six on here. And I've got, um, how many on my seven tools? On the other. Yeah, I have seven on the other. Seven on the other? Okay. Yeah, tools always have that extra word of power for some reason. Okay. So I've got 13 total. Um, so is it... Should I divide it evenly among them? No, because if I divide it... It's really it, up to you. How This is where you decide how you want to secret sauce okay. it. All you right. can... All right. So the 15... I can use, so I, I want to save the cyans to do from 175 to 190. Because if I, mm -hmm. I see now why I use the purple first. Because if I use all my cyans, then I can't get anything above 175. Bingo. So, okay, so let's let's just start off by saying I'm going to max out my sparrow there. No, nope, because it, it said I can't do that. So hang on a second. I'm trying this again. Maybe I, I'm confused. Okay, uh, yes. And. Go up to 49 and okay. And it did it this time for reasons I don't understand. Okay, but okay, that's fine. Now, now, if you look at it, yeah. your numbers adjusted. Your agility went up, your vitality went up, your physical mastery rating went up. Yep, great, because it's a higher level. But So now here's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to take the cyan one, and I'm going to bump it up to 190. Because I can. And then I'm going to use 15. So I've got 102 of those. So mm -hmm. I've got it and not quite enough to do it six times. No, seven times. Um, six so times if times you run 15 out of purples, then you can start 90. using yours. So I can, I can get six and a half or six and two thirds up to 190 if I max them up first to 175, which it seems like I totally should do. Mm -hmm. Totally should do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm, gonna, I'm certainly going to get both of my sparrows up to 190. There we are. Oh, that looks is a beautiful. Force of nature. Yeah, that looks yeah, beautiful. Yeah, look at that. Okay. And so if I do six, if I do my words of non-mastery, right? Mm -hmm. um, if I bump all of them up to 190, it'll mm -hmm. take almost all of my enhancement runs. And then as I get further enhancements, I can then just use those on the class ones. Yep. That seems a fair way to do it. Um, yeah, Except I, I have wish seven. Put the words of, I, I wish they'd put the words of craft above the words of mastery, but uh, they didn't consult me. Right. Got it. Okay. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to, I'm going to do all these. So I'm going to go my single trade, a target attack damage, because those do seem the, the these are the broadest ones. The mastery ones are more narrow attached yep. to particular skills. So I'm going to max these out to 49. Also, all the way up to 175, and then I'm gonna, um, and then I'm gonna cyan it, and I'm gonna take it up to level 190. Okay, there we go. That looks boss. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the empowered blades. All right, and my supplies are holding out here so far. Yeah, the intention was that if you had just three reasonably leveled LIs from the olden days, that you would have enough uh, of the currency to be able to get your new LIs situated. Minus the bridal, of course, because right. right now nobody cares about them. Right, exactly. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing here, except I'm going to have to make a choice at some point. But I definitely want to mm -hmm. put the heraldry of the sparrow up. 
I'm going to be fascinated to see what Griffith's morale is going to go up to when I equip <laughs> these babies. Um, and also uh, the stats will change. The stats in yeah. the window. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I would personally recommend, you know, putting on your old allies and seeing where he is, taking those off and then putting the new ones in, then seeing the... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that'll be fun. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to... I've got... Of these, I can do... Um, I think... Well, let me do the single target attack criticals one next. The base morale multiplier is the one I'll, I'll maybe wait on. Um, okay. Well, no, maybe I'll max that and I'll wait on empowered destruction. I don't know. No. Empowered destruction is pretty cool. It is kind of cool. You don't you don't really need the morale so much as if you're killing things. You're right. Get the morale is, is kind of a bonus. So um, that was definitely my third place of all of the... Uh, words of power that I bought. So, okay. So I'm going to definitely max out my uh, single attack criticals. And then I'm going to go back to that one again. And I'm going to 190 it. Okay. And then I, because I do not quite have enough to get it all the way up, two of them all the way up to 190, I can definitely get them all the way up to 175. So there's my empowered destruction up to 190. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. So now I go back to my other one and I can still max it all the way to 175. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but now I just can't quite get it. I, it's going to get it to like 187 or something, right? I missed it. Okay. Okay, so I'm three levels shy there. So when I get blues, I'll add them to there and max that mm -hmm. one. Okay, now I go, I will put it all the rest of my, I'm going to definitely put my favorite uh, tracery, which is sneak movement speed, up to 49. And that will be the next thing I put my blues on. And then I want not here. I want to go back to my weapon and I want to put uh, surprise strike damage. Yes. Surprise strike damage. Yes. No. No, I think I want this one. No, I do want this one. Okay. All right. Doesn't matter all that much as I'll be, cause I'll be, I'll be getting drops of this stuff, right? Yes. Yeah. A drops lot of, of the, the quest rewards that used to drop old stuff will drop new stuff. However, okay. they are still dropping the old heritage, uh, IXI, IXP runes because they yeah. will be part of the upcoming legendary reward track that we don't know much about, but like the okay. side thing to help you get more stuff without necessarily okay. going for raids and stuff. All right. I've used all of my enhancements, all of my Yay! shattered traceries that aren't traceries and a whole However, bunch of my script. And I still have some script left. Okay. If you want to do this, you don't have to, I don't necessarily recommend it. You can barter for additional enhancement runes from the nice vendor lady. If you wanted to. Oh, really? You can. Uh, if if there was like nice a few. Yes. Okay. So let's see. And they're so the exact what, same kind of ones that you've been using right now um in enhancement runes yeah okay you're uh -huh. gonna want the lower one all right 86 mm -hmm. um okay now and as you notice you can't buy the gold you can only buy up to the scions okay um so is there a reason to save my script? Um, well, depending on point? how... Well, the script is going to let you buy new traceries when you're eligible for new traceries if you're not lucky. Well, so if I you're get not it lucky in, in RNG, way? Right, if you're not lucky in RNG, you're not getting the traceries that you want to drop down, then you can save the ancient script, come back here, and buy the one you need. Okay. Okay. 
maybe I'll say I, this. I, if, if these will drop, then I'm not going to worry about it. I'll save yeah, my I mean, 800 script, and then that way I've, I can buy a couple tracers. Yeah, s saving a little bit of ancient script is, is useful. Okay. Um, also, uh, for folks who have like tons of alts who log them in previously, um, you're going to get a ready supply of ancient script by deconstructing your two crystals of remembrance because those are awesome. Um, so, yeah. Like okay. things like crystals of remembrance, you're going to use the flame of Von Kalamir, which you just recently met, uh, picked up with uh, Wigand. Everybody has them now. Um, you right. can use those to deconstruct old LI, some of the old LI materials for ancient script. Uh, and again, you want to be careful that you don't exceed your 10,000 limit because you will lose any extra. So, just, yeah. okay. So, but I can go and deconstruct things. It's like, for instance, the old legendary item stuff I have sitting in my vault. I can try to de. Mm -hmm. I can try to use. Right. I can try to deconstruct that. How do I use the flame of un of uncommon? Um, you right click it, and then you hover over the thing you want to deconstruct. Uh, when you right click it, anything that's currently available in your bags to deconstruct will be highlighted. Everything else will go Which dark. Which is not right now. So right. right. So you don't have anything in your bags. Right. Um, you have to pull stuff out of your vault to be able to use them. Into the bags. So. Okay. All right. I'll, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll check that out. Um, mm -hmm. All right. So now it's uh, it's showtime. So I'm going to go back to my old legendaries. Uh, E.G. Okay. Arthur, that's not exactly correct. I uh, have been doing Crystals of Remembrance and getting uh, 600 ancient script per hmm. the past few days. Okay. All right. So um, great. So I'm going to... So here I am. So I've got... Um, What's my, um, where do I see what my current, um, all right, so my current now? DPS and stuff, all right, this is my current DPS, and I've got my morales at 33.6, oh, wait, hang on, okay, but it says I can't equip them, and they're like, they're, they're red now, because it's just because, right. You have to either take both of your old ones out or take both of your new ones out. You can't mix and match them. Oh, I see. That's why it's mm -hmm. it's not like that's why I can't right click them and just put them on. Mm -hmm. Also because I, I can't right click. Okay. But apart from that, okay. <laughs> I was gonna um, say it, but all right, no. here we go. Boom and boom. Oh, up to thirty nine. That's a pretty good improvement there. Yeah. And his DPS is increased by fifty percent. Oh yeah. Okay. Excellent. Yes, I did forge them, Brewster. Thank you. Yes, I did. I forged it. I forged them up, and um, so there, guys. Did I did that first? So yeah, they you have. Yeah. Yeah, I have to. Okay. So that. So that. So they. So they should be good, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're good to go. Okay. And do they? No. So they. they these are not slotted, though. No, they. You will not actually use that panel going forward. This panel is. This panel is done. Yeah. Yeah, that's only okay. if you want to see how how your old allies looked. Right. Um, you Farewell can't slot any the... new allies. You can't improve those old allies. Um, once you appraise them, they're just there for. It's show. all about the, it's all about the fire tile now. Mm hmm. So if I want to change, I, so I've got to unequip them to, uh, or can I can I drag them over like this? Can I do this? Oh, look at that. Okay, very good. I don't have to unequip them. Okay. No. Cool. Yep. Great. Awesome. Uh, that's Yay. fantastic. That's fantastic. Right. Uh, I, I do have it. a series of notes that I will be posting in the Signamu Discord in the Lotro 101 uh, category for folks to read. Um, as is typical for things with Corey, we went completely off the beaten path, but most of the stuff that we've discussed are in note form and they might be easier to um, read and go along with. But we, we got there. We, we went through all of the all the details. I, I kept checking my notes to make sure we didn't miss anything. Um, there are, of course, this is the overall view of the thing. It's not intended for min-maxers. Um, it's just to give folks like in our Signum community an idea of how to go through the system. Yeah. Uh, and you can all hit me up in Discord if you need some help, you have some questions. Again, I don't claim to be an expert on this system or how to build the very best allies, you know, with honor, sir. But I can at least get you through the process. Uh, that is fantastic. Well, thank you. I feel like I get it now, and uh, it's um, 
it's kind of fun. I mean, again, it's complicated, yeah. but again, I like complicated. It's it's good. I I'm 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 enjoying that. Um, yeah, it, so, it's not actually yeah. not as complicated. It's more complicated if you're used to the old system. If you're coming at it fresh, it's going to be super easier to understand. There's just a few things that you just have to keep in mind so you don't waste your uh, currency or whatever. Okay. Right, exactly. No, that's great. That's great. So I'm all equipped, and I'm I'm excited to get some more enhancement rune drops mm -hmm. so that I can I know just now how to increase my uh, I almost called them legacies, but I know better than that yeah. my traceries uh, so that I can keep increasing those things that I like to use, like my surprise, my uh, stealth speed, and all that kind of thing. Um, and I am ready to like completely take those spiders in the hills at unawares next week. Oh yeah! When I it's when gonna, I go it's, up to the spiders. Be lit. Week, so. I'm I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward to it honestly. It'll be it'll be You're exciting. Gonna... So, it's yeah. uh, uh, this is great. This is great. So thank you very much, Druid's Fire. Very much You're appreciate welcome, your sir. help today. I know this is not a normal stream. I didn't get to do lore questions and and Griffo didn't make any. Well, I was gonna say Griffo didn't make any progress except you know like increasing his uh, damage by 50% and all that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, so that's cool. So um, Grifflet is ready to go next week. So thanks, everybody, for joining me this week. I hope for those of you who have also been as confused uh, uh, and, I, you know, I have felt, uh, um, you know, like a non-swimmer flailing about in the ocean um, as far as the new LI system is concerned to this point. Uh, so that was extremely helpful for me and I hope helpful for some of you guys as well. Thanks, everybody, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye now. Thanks for joining in on my rambles around Standing Stone's brilliant digital adaptation of Tolkien's world. If you enjoy these adventures, please consider supporting this and other entertaining educational programming by donating at signumuniversity.org fund.